The prologue is something I'm just completing now. This is an idea for a big film, which I had when I was 15 years old. And I thought, I wonder if I'll ever get good enough to do this. It's something that nobody's done. And something happened to me about three years ago. I don't know with all this teaching, all this experience, is that it's like yogurt. It finally just went <laughs> And I'm able to do exactly what I can think of. And people say, what's this film about? And, and I say, well, I'll tell you the working title. And I say, it's called, Will I Live to Finish This? <laughs> and uh, that I really hope I do, um, if we can stretch this out, because it's an enormous amount of work. And I'm into territory where people have tried to go before and haven't brought it off. I keep thinking animation is so much work and you have to learn. That's why I was reluctant after my first film, that you have to learn so much. And, 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 and I don't know if I really want to do just stuff that looks like cartoons, but they're drawings that walk and talk and you can put them anywhere and you can do anything. And it just seemed, oh, but it's going to be such a hard journey of learning how to do all this stuff. Because I wanted the whole ball of wax. I mean, a lot of guys can be very funny artists are very funny animators, they, they do one kind of thing, or, but I wanted the whole whammy, sort of artistically greedy or ambitious anyway, if you want to call it. And, and that was my goal. I thought, it doesn't matter what I do, I've got to master this damn thing so I can really do anything I want. And I fortunately have achieved it while I'm still reasonably healthy and walking around. <laughs>